hey guys welcome to my channel i am timbi matoshe and today i am bringing you a life in lockdown vlog obviously life is a little boring at the moment so i'll probably include two to three days and jam pack it into one to make this entertaining don't forget to comment like and subscribe your girl is now monetized thank you guys so much for supporting i'm extremely extremely grateful <laughs> Okie-dokie, so this is my checklist for before I leave I've got my mask. It's a reusable mask from the wellness warehouse So you wash them with like soapy water I like to add bleach as well and then you leave it out to dry in the sun. We'll have my sanitizers very important And that's basically my kit for leaving the house. Okay, hey, I'll be honest. This is not like my most essential run because I have groceries, I have cleaning supplies, I literally need to buy some concealer and eyelashes because I obviously need to keep this content coming. I think my Uber's here. So I just got to the shopping center. I hope you guys can hear me through this mask obviously the sound might be a bit muffled um it's so empty it's like very very quiet which is a good thing and i'm seeing exclusive books is open was it always open i don't know i feel like it only just opened today it's quite ironic that the restrictions have been lifted on um International Workers Day or May Day because now people who would have been at home have to go to work unless I'm mistaken I have no idea this is so awkward I feel like when you are doing a vlog everyone just stares at you and now the situation is like heightened because obviously it looks like I'm low-key a spectacle so I'm gonna start at clicks see if they have what I want unfortunately they don't have a disc cam at this center um, but I hope I can get everything I want from clicks I haven't even 
get everything I wanted so I think I'll just go to another store I just got to the second shopping center and this one is bigger so there are more people which kind of gives me the heebie jeebies but I'm just trying to keep my distance So this is what I got from Clicks and Discam. I got these frozen bananas because every time, and I'm not joking guys, every time I go to the grocery store, bananas are always sold out. And everything I make usually doesn't really need fresh bananas. So I think these will come in handy for me. And I'm gonna try oat milk, so I got that. And it's actually much cheaper than almond milk, that's something I realized. Cause almond milk is usually like 33 Rand, this is like 27. And then I got myself one of these shower Denman brushes. I've never had a Denman brush, so I'm just trying it out. Apparently they're really good for detangling. And I do my detangling in the shower anyway, so I thought, why not? I got some acetone because I've still got gelish on my toes that I want to remove. I got this um, sheer moisture shampoo because I need a clarifying shampoo. Sometimes I don't want to do an apple cider vinegar rinse and sometimes co-washing is not sufficient. So I spoke to Sino Monzliwa, I spoke to Kei Mongo and you know it was kind of like mixed reviews. Um, Kei Mungo was saying some people have said good things but she's never tried it. Sino was saying it clogs up her her scalp. There's too much build up because they apparently use too much sheer butter in the products. Um, but she said she has low porosity hair so I'll try it. My hair is usually between high and neutral so we'll see. And then I got some sweet almond oil because I need an occlusive for my nighttime skin routine so i've done my research and i think this will work for me but i'm just gonna give it a try and then i've got a couple of nail polishes because of we need to start doing our own things like that and then i also got these um tools for my nails this is like a, a nail buffer file that holds shebang and then this is a cuticle trimmer and pusher which i desperately need right now i got some concealers because i feel like these are literally running out so quickly and i can't make any content if i don't have concealers i also got more translucent powder i literally got what i need right now i didn't like go overboard then i got my fave my favorite Porsche m toner got some deodorants and then i got some lashes i went ham and like took a lot and then i said to myself honestly do you do you really need to like do you really really need to like ever since i adopted um k yam's uh eyelash cleaning technique i can reuse my lashes so much i don't need to buy hordes and hordes of lashes but this comb because i don't know what happened to my red tail comb it's somewhere in this house and i'm unable to lay my wigs without it i've been struggling so yeah that is the full you know shebang i just made myself some popcorn this is like 
my favorite lockdown snack of all time it's amazing keeps you full super low calorie and it has lots of fiber I'm so tired I'm about to do my schoolwork I feel like today has been so draining even though I just went to two shops and came back I don't know why so I'm gonna prepare my dinner I'm thinking of making like a veggie bake this is usually my go-to when I feel lazy some sweet potato some butternut some spinach and I've got this vegan cheese that I'm obsessed with this is a mozzarella um, flavored vegan cheese and I'm not even like looking at a recipe for this I'm genuinely just winging it but I think if I just put everything in the pan it should work out guys I am so triggered like filming this food making process just triggered me that vlog that I did for you guys of what I eat in a week you know, that was like the most difficult vlog to do can you imagine filming what you eat every day for seven days oh, and I know like some of y'all have been asking me to do something like that again maybe I'll do like a day or two but not a whole week again let me know in the comments if you don't like onions if you don't like garlic because then i'll know that your cooking is trash <laughs> i'm joking is my dinner I know it doesn't look very special but it's actually quite good I mashed the sweet potato and the butternut together also butternut and sweet potato together oh my god it's so good I also love lately making savory butternut and sweet potato instead of like spicing it with sweeter spices and well spices that go with sweeter flavors so I literally just used cayenne pepper, cumin, um, and rosemary, and salt and pepper for that. And then this spinach. This is a great vegetarian meal. Obviously my plating is not the best, but it's gonna slap. God. I love Saturdays because I get to have brunch and I am going for a run I don't know why I'm still having lighting issues I had to fix my white balance again but I think I'm just gonna have to keep adjusting it like in each setting which is not a problem um, so yeah I'm super keen because I'm going for my first run in like weeks so hopefully I can still do it like the last time I was running about 
five to seven kilometers on average today i'll be grateful if i even do two honestly um oh my lips are so ashy so what i usually do is on a saturday i like to weigh myself like once a week and then i will run and come back make myself brunch i'm busy throwing this salmon i don't know what i'm gonna make but it's gonna in include soy sauce and wasabi that's all i know last week i made a poke bowl i feel like i'm gonna do the same thing again but we'll see maybe i'll make like eggs benedict who knows start doing some school work because I'm a bit behind in that regard but I just want to address the fact that when I went for my job oh my god guys so many people were literally jogging without masks like I cannot understand like the president distinctly said if you are gonna leave your house make sure you cover it with a cloth mask or a surgical mask or even a scarf so I was really really appalled by that I went jogging at half past seven and I came back at about half past eight so that might not have been the best time to go but I'm not really gonna wake up at six o'clock in the morning to run I, I, I can't do it it wasn't like super packed because I was running in between the streets and not necessarily on like a main road but I still think that um, the main problem is the fact that people are not wearing masks I don't agree with the idea that we should have more than one running slot however people should stick to running in between these streets don't try to go to scenic areas that are outside of your five kilometer radius i don't even want to address the people in cape town who are running at the sea point promenade or promenade because when i lived in cape town i lived in sea point and trust me i could very well jog on high level road if i wanted to because it is that long i doubt that most of the people that were there on the promenade or even within a five kilometer radius of their own place they probably drove there so honestly there needs to be more be more being done in terms of regulating these suburbs i think the sandif or the south african national defense force is looking at the you know townships and the less affluent areas when the real problems are in seapoint and morningside very very upset about that so guys excuse my messy hair i'm about to prepare um my dinner and then i'm also gonna bake a cake i baked this amazing amazing carrot cake i think about two weeks ago so i'm gonna do the exact same recipe the only difference is this time around my icing will be vegan because the last one the cake sponge was vegan but the icing wasn't so and it's because at the time i wasn't like i could um, i'm off dairy most of the time but on my cheat days i will like have a little bit but now i've been off it for so long that your girl is low-key lactose intolerant or i just can't tolerate dairy completely so I found an amazing um, cream cheese-esque frosting that is vegan and luckily I've got the ingredients. I think it requires um, slivered almonds and I've got them. But I'm just going to gather all my ingredients, measure everything and you guys will just see the process. I've had such a long day but I literally wasn't doors the entire day. I feel like just being at home is draining, like being bored in the house. In the house board i'm actually gonna film such a cool video tomorrow so i'm trying to preserve all my energy for that because i try to do like you know a balance between uh 
easy video and like one that requires more engagement i know my skincare videos were like super loaded in terms of information so some of you guys might have struggled to retain that info and the other thing is my skincare series is paused i've got the final episode coming out which is the third episode but i don't want to bore you guys so i'm just like holding back on that one and it's also because i'm still testing products I've got a little bit of purging happening in this upper region so I want to see if my skin is rejecting the product or is the skin cell turnover doing amazing that I must continue with the product This is my dinner a nice nutritious meal i've got some hake i've got quinoa and black beans i've got this creamed spinach from the other day it's more creamed than spinach but whatever so it is sunday night and honestly i've been doing the same thing for the past couple of days the only thing i did different today was film i'm literally about to remove my makeup you guys already know my pm skin routine and then i will probably start editing and go to bed i've been passing out on the couch for the past i don't know how many days so that's probably why you guys haven't seen me actively going to bed that concludes our quarantine slash lockdown vlog thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe to your girl's channel i will see y'all next time